Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I want to take you back to the early 2000s, where I used to look like this, and reality TV shows were just sublime. I don't really watch that much TV nowadays. It's more sort of YouTube and Netflix. So I thought it might be a fun idea to go back in time and to watch an old TV show that I thoroughly enjoyed when I was younger. And today's show is going to be it's me or the dog. I used to watch this whenever this was on TV. I always found it really funny seeing owners getting dragged along the park or, or the town centre by their out of control dogs or owners taking everything so seriously like it was a military operation. Why do you have walkie talkies? For security. <laughs> or owners spoiling their dogs right on and couldn't understand why their dogs were out of control. If you've never heard the show before, it's sort of like Super Nanny, but with dogs. Owners who can't look after their pets call upon Victoria Stilwell, a dog trainer with over 10 years of experience who shows them how it's done so let's watch an episode and remember this gem together the episode we're going to watch today is called the cat replacement niles i'm not too sure what season this is from i'm afraid but i think the title's quite self-explanatory so let's just jump in tonight on it's me or the dog he's about the same size as a cat and i really thought that he would behave like a cat he gets a little bit <laughs> jesus Meet care worker Karen Fletcher. She's always loved cats. I love cats. I mean, I've always had cats for years and years, and they've always been like babies to me. But one day, her beloved cat died. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, it's got just blunt as anything. Karen couldn't bear to get another cat, so she bought a dog instead. The reason I got Niles is because he's about the same size as a cat and I really thought that he would behave like a cat. I wonder this is going to go down. Unsurprisingly, things started to go wrong. <laughs> Niles hasn't responded well to Karen's affection. I had a cat when I was younger. I always wanted a dog, but I had a cat, Buttons. And watching Buttons and Niles, not that much difference in between them. They're very, very similar. <laughs> Well, it's a good job dog trainer Victoria Stilwell's on her way to put a stop to all this madness. Here she comes. So now sort of Victoria just sort of takes a step back and just watches the relationship between the dog and the owner. Just sees how they react, how, they, how the owner treats the dog, that sort of thing. First, they spend quality time in the bedroom. I can't believe he's just done that. He's just um, relieved himself on the corner of my bed. Look what you've done. No fucks. <laughs> Do I look like I give a fuck? Because I don't. Then Karen tries to stroke Niles. Come on, then, look. Karen has no idea how to interact with Niles. She doesn't stop talking at him. She completely overcrowds him. Come on. I feel quite bad for Karen because she really wants to have a friendship or a bond with Niles. And she's really trying. Every time this dog bites her, she's like, no, come on, come on. And this dog's not having it. But yeah, looking back at this, my cat was very similar to Niles, so I, I see a lot of resemblance in him. Naughty boy! Oh. Oh, go off, Niles. So, this is the part where it kind of gets a little bit, like I mentioned before, like a military operation, just to put a tiny chihuahua on a lead for a walk. Come on, then. Wanna go for a walk? Oh. Good boy. Come on, then. All right, come on then. He's always like that, is he, when you do uh, put the lead on? Normally worse. I'm going to have to um, phone my mum. <laughs> I know he's silly, so silly. That's it, I've got it. And I think we have success Quick. now. That's it, you can drop him down, Mum. Why do you think he's behaving like that? I personally think he's not the boss anymore. I've got, like, a little step over him. OK. He's trying to tell you to back off. Everything in his body language is communicating this to you, but you're ignoring him. Victoria's great. I love her. She just sort of just tells it like it is. And it, I, I've watched more than one episode of this recently, just to refresh my memory. And every episode I've watched, so many owners have just listened to her and just followed her instructions. So, big up, Victoria. Karen, I'm going to ask you to leave now because I want to see how Niles reacts when you're not around. OK. OK? Yep, no All problem. Right. Niles is vicious when Karen's around. But how will he act around Victoria? I 
Yes, that's a nice food. Niles, come here. Me trying to find some self-esteem. <laughs> Me trying to find my promotion. <laughs> Me seeing all my friends out when I told me they have plans. <laughs> Alright, I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> so I'm going to sort of switch things up and give Karen a taste of her own medicine and see how she likes being groomed and the way Niles is. I'm going to ask you to get down on the ground. Right. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to come and groom you. Come on, Billy boy. How about a nice brush? And now you're brushing him like this with this massive brush coming over his head. Oh, we like that, don't we? He's a good boy. Come on, then. Oh, my God, the editing is brilliant. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right, Niles, there you go. Come on, then, Niles. Come on, little Billy boy. Okay, the Karen dirty in the edit, man. Poor Karen. Just like my sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> oh, there you go. I've just. <laughs> Why do they keep going? Why do they keep going with the broom? <laughs> All right, so we saw the walk, the walkies situation before, where you needed a blanket and a mama to come round, and there was a spoon involved. So they're trying to change it up, Victoria Stillwell style. So let's see how they're going to do it this time. Hopefully, it won't be as extreme as putting a blanket over Karen and hitting over a broom. I'm going to give you a really good way of putting a lead on without getting an aggressive response from Niles. And this is called a slip lead. Now, I'm really, I'm not a great advocate of these leads, but in this case, where the dogs don't like to be touched, it's a really good way of just putting the slip lead over his neck and then taking him out for a walk. Watch this. Just walk past, okay, and just go like yeah. that. There you go. Good boy. Victoria Stillwell, man. <laughs> also, can we just take a moment to appreciate Victoria Stillwell's wardrobe? Every time, every episode, out of the park, this dominatrix vibe that I'm here for. I think that we're actually uh, friends now. With the two weeks up, Victoria returns to witness the change for herself. Look at Niles sitting right next to you. He does seem to be a lot calmer. Karen's happy, Niles is happy, I'm happy. That's all we need to know. But anyway, that's the end of It's Me of the Dog with Niles. I personally like Niles. He reminded me of my old cat. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a like and comment down below. If you have any other TV shows you remember back in the day you'd like me to watch or talk about. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed the content, please hit the subscribe button. It would really help me out. My name's Louise Lydia. Take care and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.